In June 1889, Dutch post-impressionist painter Vincent van Gogh painted the view from his window at the asylum in Saint Remy and named it Starry Night. Hey and welcome to Making FX. This episode is all about curl noise, which is frankly something I know almost less about than post-impressionism. Back before I quit the online hellscape that is Twitter, user AE Cartographer posted this video and explained it was made using curl noise. Curl noise is a procedural noise technique that creates vortex-like patterns. Thanks Google AI summary thingy. And it's not something A is designed to do. So when a cartographer posted their video and some screenshots of the settings, I filed it away in my to-do list to try out. Armed with the memories of the Doctor Who episode Vincent and the Doctor. Everywhere we look. I finally decided to take a look and failed. I could not reproduce the effect shown, so I decided to deconstruct the method and figure out the steps needed. I did try to get in touch with AE Cartographer too, but wasn't successful. First off, you need to add a free, deprecated plugin called CC Time Blend FX. Texture Labs has a great video talking through this effect. You can check it out here and from the link in the description. This is his method for enabling the effect. Go to the Psychor FX website. They are the creators for all the included CC effects. And from the downloads page, Go to the AE Project Samples and Tutorials page and download the Time Blend FX Plugins Animation Preset. Install the preset into your presets folder and restart After Effects. Now, in the Effects and Presets panel, if you search for Time Blend, you'll see two effects CC Time Blend and CC Time Blend FX. CC Time Blend FX works by sort of echoing an effect back onto itself. I think Texture Labs video has a setup that makes most sense, so for now I'll show you how I'm using it. Here's my Van Gogh painting, and I'll go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, and name it Copy. I'll then add CC Time Blend FX, and I'll set the instance to Copy. With the layer selected, I'll now go to Edit, Duplicate, and rename this layer to Paste, and drag it beneath Copy, and change the instance to Paste, increase the accumulation to 100%, and change Clear to to Current Frame. Anything I put in between these Copy and Paste layers will be copied by Copy and applied to Paste. So if I create another adjustment layer, then go to Effect, Distort, Transform, and set the scale to 99. Watch what happens. Then we're back to Doctor Who again. Now, CC Time Blend FX uses the cache to generate its effect, so it's always worth starting a preview from zero seconds and clearing your cache before each preview, otherwise things get kind of screwy. Notice as well, I'm only adding a small amount of change that's because the time effect is adding it back onto itself again and again. So if we now delete the transform effect and instead go to effect, blur and sharpen, CC vector blur, and set the amount to minus one, the angle offset to 90, we get a bit of vectory distortion. But if we create a vector map to base the blur off, we can focus the nature of the distortions. So here's a second comp, I've called it Curl Noise, and added the Starry Night painting to it. And I'm going to do two things. First, I'll right-click on the layer and choose Guide Layer. That means I'll see it during editing, but it won't affect anything and won't be visible. Next, I'll tap T to expose the Opacity property, and drop this down to 30%. Next, I'll go to Layer, New, Solid, and make a black comp size solid and drag it beneath my guide layer. To use this comp as a vector map for CC Vector Blur, I need to create gradients from white to black. The blurring will then affect any areas corresponding to the gradient, and ignore the full white and full black areas. Let me explain. With the black solid selected, go to Effect, Generate, 
circle. Set its blending mode to normal. And let's position it on this big swirl. Expand its radius and then feather it a ton. And let's jump back into our main comp and add in the curl noise comp. Then on the adjustment layers CC vector blur, I've set the vector map to the curl noise precomp. And this is what we get. It's like the twirl effect, but because I can now add in lots more circles and other gradients, I get this end result. You might have noticed the tower is missing. I removed that using Photoshop, but it can have its own layer, which means that I can add it back in with its own animation. There is another way to achieve this look. Here's the liquefy effect in action, animating the painting, which frankly took a lot more effort and I'm not sure was worth it. So if you're wanting to try out something new, like maybe animating the swirls of Jupiter or your own Vincent van Gogh inspired artwork, then check out Curl Noise.